give this lady to be married? I do. How about a kiss for your daughter, sir? No. Shake hands with the girl. Yeah, yeah. Dave, uh, she stole my heart many years ago. Aww. It's your turn now. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah, all right. We'll take your fiance a bit more to the center. And you may be seated. All right, well, this is a big day, huh? Moment has arrived here in Las Vegas, huh? Yes. With all your family and friends, yeah. And of course, Elvis over here, yes. yeah. In this, joining the two of you together, David and Jenny in marriage. David, do you take Jenny for your lawfully wedded wife? Do you promise to love her and to cherish her, forsaking all others? Keep her only unto you as long as you both shall live. I do. And Jenny, do you take David for your lawfully wedded husband? Do you promise to love him and to cherish him and also Forsaking all others, keep him only unto you as long as you both shall live. I do. All right. yeah. Good answer, huh? <laughs> all right. Well, I'm sure you both plan to make your relationship very successful for the rest of your lives. Huh? That's the idea. Now, <clears throat> for that to happen, very important principles to understand. You see, because one of the many reasons that you stand here side by side is simply that there are some deep emotional needs inside of you, David, and you, Jenny. You just can't feel for yourself, see? You know, that's why we get married. Somebody has to do the job, yeah. You seem to be wife here. She expects you to feel her needs for the rest of her life, young man. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you soon to be husband expects the same from you. So <clears throat> the very first lesson to learn about marriage, and keep it in mind throughout your whole lifetime as a couple, you really <clears throat> do not get into the relationship for what you get out of it for yourselves first, you see but for what you bring into it, for the benefit of the other, first. Huh? This way you keep peace in the family. Yeah. It's because when those needs are not filled one by the other, that uh, trouble starts to blow along. See, that's how that works. Very simple to understand. <coughs> it's a little harder to live by, because first you need to know what those basic needs are. So at least you can work on each other intelligently and keep each other happy, and then, you also need to be familiar with the ramifications attached to them. So that's where the ups and downs come in here. Yeah. And then very important to understand that these ups and downs are designed to give you an opportunity to make your marriage stronger and stronger, not weaker and weaker. Sadly, a lot of people miss this part nowadays. Now, one of the most important needs that your wife has, David, you are to feel throughout a whole life consistently, if not even her greatest need, according to the Bible, is for her to always stay completely safe, secure, in and of your love. You must never, 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 never give her an opportunity to even doubt it. Huh? Many reasons throughout life, but also your wife here, she will bloom the best when she is loved the most, see? Yes. So, she needs an overdose of love. Comparatively. Mm -hmm. And of course, we can't see love at all unless it is demonstrated and expressed. And the easiest way to do that, because there are very difficult ways to demonstrate love. But the easiest way to do that, you tell Jenny every day how much you love her, how much she means to you. Huh? Simple. And during the year, of course, you buy her some gifts and flowers and jewelry and yes. perfume and things, you know. Yes. <laughs> Even if it's not a girl's day, yeah. Uh -huh. Especially when it's not a girl's day, big points. For them, yeah. That goes for all the guys out there too, by the way. Yeah. So many principles to follow for marriages to succeed. Elvis, do you have another song for this? I do, I do. All right. <laughs> Please give your bouquet to 
right next to you. You face each other. Young lady, please present the ring to the groom for the bride. Take the ring, please. David, place it on Jenny's finger. <coughs> I said, Jenny, I give you this ring. <laughs> I give it to Pounds. I said, I give you this ring. <laughs> I give you this ring. As a pledge. As a pledge. To my love and commitment. To my love and commitment. I take you to be my wife. I take you to be my wife. I promise to be your faithful husband. I promise to be your faithful husband. And I will love you and cherish you. And I will love you and cherish, cherish you. Respect you and honor you. Respect you and honor you. Provide for you and protect you. Provide for you and protect you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. And please give the ring to the bride. <coughs> you place it on your husband to be husband to you. And so I give you the ring. <laughs> so I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a pledge. <laughs> as a pledge to my love and commitment. To my love and commitment. I take you to be my husband. I take you to be my husband. I promise to be your faithful wife. I promise to be your faithful wife. And I will love you and cherish you. And I will love you and cherish you. I respect you and honor you. Respect you and honor you. All the days of my life. <clears throat> All the days of my life. <laughs> Well, David and Jenny, after hearing the vows, you've exchanged with each other instead of all these witnesses and by the authority even to me by the laws of the state of Nevada, I officially pronounce you husband and wife, you may kiss your bride, sir. <laughs> Where do you want to be? Where do you want to be?